approach this draft, what will be the execution. But as far as we know, based on numbers, Aizen could have his way of have, have getting uh, ret retribution out yeah. of his Terizla. So uh, let's check how will the Emblems be a good match against the Philippines composition. I mean, even just for, for what we're seeing from the Tier 3, right? Unigo having that focusing, focusing mark once again works so well because especially if you tie in the heart guard with Saison, you just have that extra 6% to work with whenever it's procced, right? Now, on, this, on the other side, Ethan has it too. But you still have to hope that you land those great stampedes. You get the timing on your cult altar here. It should work relatively well. Uh, you just have to be able to execute that part. And you can see, too, even in that uh, river, just kind of fighting for space there to work with. Little 1v1 here now as we had a forbid backup. There's the emblems. Yeah, good usage of the Astro. And going back to our pause, here's one minute in. And uh, we have the uh, focus from uh, the XP lane. We have the Esmeralda and... Uh, the uh, Terizla now going back on our objectives here, and it's just purely uh, Mongolia looking towards of securing the vision in the river. Well, the fact that, uh, like I said, they have Novaria should vision should be in their favor for the most part, right? It, it's more so choosing your battles because you know that every time you do choose a whether it's a you know one person you're focusing on or a team fight or skirmish. You gotta watch out for the heart guard, especially when Unigo gets that level four. Right now, you know, doesn't have it, but still, as things kind of just get the pacing, uh, get paced here, leading into that first turtle. Cannon though, gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Should be just fine. Little pokes back and forth here, but now turtle is going to spawn in a couple seconds. As we see Mongolia get in position, Aizen trying to get that level four does have it now. So penalty zone available to him too. Did Green lights to across the, the board. Flicker combo here. That might come up. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Your okay. ego now being forced to back away. Now Cannon trying to hold on. And yeah. this is still it's going slowly. Okay. So still going to be working for the turtle. And as they work for it, that's going to be secured. So it works well, right? They get the turtle starting off with a good part of the early game. Now going back Philippines here. Getting back on track. So the lead, a bit of a, well, almost 1,000 against Mongolia. Now they need to go back in their own resources to move. Good dodge though from Saison, but that is Vision being collected by Forbid. That's one thing that you utilize with the actual Echo. Look at that, being trapped and slowed. Yeah, Forbid should be fine. He's gonna go ahead and regen up. Still focusing on that purple buff, the rotation here important. As they, you see there too, Bebex though. Heart guard already on Saison, should be able to get away. Bebex now has the support of his team. They get the knock up there, Saison will fall. Now going to be looking for Unigo. Do they go? Stampede going to come through. But there's the kill cleaned up by ZX Aura. Mongolia able to find kills across the board here now. Starting to build their own little lead. This is the threat now of Mongolia. That four-man uh, gank and invade onto uh, the member of Team Philippines. This is their nature in the early game. They have vision. They have a way of slowing down. They have a way to taunt. This is the one we're talking about. They force out something out of the Philippines and get them off guard most of the times in the early game. So now since the Navarra is present for Mongolia, their minds is probably to cross the bridge and have the power spike for this Novaria, and they need to hold it through. And if you want to in the late game, they need to have the good defense as well. But Team Philippines is might be on a state to be on to focus and being disciplined in getting the objectives. Well, so they're already, you know, you can see this. This is very different from Mongolia this time, right? They've got this nice, what, 2K gold lead already four minutes in. And they have a lead, right? They have this lead. They're going to be working for it, putting the pressure, even in the jungle, which is great. Aizen even just confident enough to plan himself here, there to try to possibly catch someone out if he can. And it's Mongolia that's setting the pace, which is great to see them do to hopefully get us to a game number three. Philippines will have to find some answer with this, though. Also, just kind of working against the displacement the Look vision at provided. Look at Aizen. Aizen, he's still in that. He's been there for minutes. Aizen. Man. Here he goes. Unigo, he's going to jump in. Penalty zone should be an easy kill. He finds it just like that, all leading it to another turtle. Going to go and be secured by Mongolia. Bebex, though, going to be in trouble. Perfect, Coltozer comes through with a flicker. They get punished, Be Bebex will fall. Another one goes down as Ethan falls. Still gonna fight it out. Hardguard 
comes through. Is it going to be enough to sustain through this? Appraiser's Wrath comes down. He's still alive, but Cannon falls finally as two go down for the Philippines. Talking up, talking about second, stepping out the gas for this Novaria. 3 0 and 2. Pokes, we're talking about how will this suffice? The sustain of an, of an Angela and a Lancelot. Well, forced him out, burst him down, and just by looking at the items, we have the magic shoes, uh, shoes present for Forbid, and as well as the BOD for Bebex. Now, we have the dominant size as well. Early start, and this is the confidence that they need. Something to penetrate uh, Philippines here in their own way. And having the chance of the regen, but as well as with the Faramis, I can say just, just keep on doing it over oh. and over again. Try to isolate the members of Philippines. Yeah, Aizen, he's cutting that wave up there on the top side, but look, two members, he already penalty zone two, but meanwhile in the bottom lane, Requitiana will fall. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Aizen, one versus three, basically gonna flicker out after grabbing a kill here. He's on the run. Quite a bit of action on all parts of the map here, OSX. Yeah, Sora now Sora. taunting Archangel. Well, still he gonna might be going. not survive, look at the taunt. No, Pracer's Wrath taking out the life. Out of that eve, now Mongolia trying to gain more coverage of the map this time and gain... Novaria. Scaling is going to be great for uh, Forbid, right? You have it, you can use it, you can utilize that. Philippines, though, has to be very aware of that and deal around it. They have an eve. Objectively, they should be good. Cannon, though, should be able to get... Okay, he's he did sprint. He's Forced gonna get out. knocked up here, still trying to survive the best he can. Falling Star Moon to safety. Dodges the Appraiser's Wrath as well. Oh, oh no, but the shot is going to find him. Cannon and Unigo fall. Man, he was in deep ter territory cutting. That three-man rotation onto Mongolia is going way faster oh. than we thought. Saison, all oh, the wow. damage receiving from Sora. Massive show of display of damage from that Fredrin. It's crazy because with as many kills that Mongolia has right now, you'd expect them to be up more gold, right? But this is another objective. Still maintaining about 4,000k gold lead. This is great for them. Just continue to choke out these resources as best as you can because the Philippines is scrambling right now, right? They're really trying. Unigo quite low here too. Zixora trying to just show face here with the rest of the team. It's still focusing on that tier one. Look at Aizen once again. He might make a move. He doesn't have Flicker available though. So he's going to have to just show up here, get some attention. As they work on the tier one, going to not connect with the penalty zone, though. The shots from Forbid coming through, plus these sniper shots. They finally get the tier turret in the tier one, and they make their eyes set elsewhere. Trying to find the bottom lane, Recutiano, though, should be able to get away just fine. The peel is so high right now for Mongolia. And looking back on the defensive items on the Philippines right now, building through the Oracle, we're, we're seeing Cannon getting the Oracle right away to even just sustain. The, the Esmeralda would be enough to deplete even the health and the shields of Mongolia, but the, he needs more way of like aiding that shield oh, no. throughout the game that they even be uh, invaded. Azen is trying to have his eyes on the marksman of Philippines. Now they're trying to cover the losses of the, of the camps that they, they missed against Mongolia. Okay, there's a massive game here too for Mongolia. I mean, Forbid is just... Uh, he's deadly, you know, at this point, even just 8 minutes, 40 seconds into the game. Even taking a look at the items here, he's already got what he needs. He's going to be working on that enchanted talisman as well. There is also a golden staff being picked up here by Rectiano. So he's still farming up relatively well. Needs time, though. Unico going to be in trouble. Not sure if the penalty zone was needed. But just to be sure, Aizen getting that kill there. So massive. Expected with the Trizla. Purple buff going to be taken also from Saison here. They're still putting pressure, and Lord is going to be up in about 10 seconds. Yeah, the threat now of this Terizla 4 0 and 2. Looking back on how he gives the steps for Mongolia, either you trade with something out of the map, because as we know, 2 to 14 scoreboard, no turrets being taken down, and you're still seeing a push from Ricotiano, giving all of the resources to Mongolia. The mindset here is to get back in the late game, but now the coverage of what Aizen is just doing is becoming a problem for the Claude and even and Unigo. This, you're right at the very first part. They're, they keep on forcing the heart guard throughout the way that they're being invaded most of the time and slowing down the process of having a greater of coming back. I guess in the, the, the question to the 
you know, the answer to the question about Angela is Mongolia has found it, right? They, they really have not let up at all. And this whole combination with the Lancelot and Angela is just not working out for Philippines. Right now, Mongolia is the one setting the pace, and they're continuing onward. Ooh. Lord now is going to be marching with them here. It's going to go bottom side. So we're going to see Mongolia focus on mid lane, at least get the tier two. We had Aizen up there as well, alongside Forbid. And that's also another big item pickup here from Bebex, finally getting that wind of nature. And they have plenty of magic resistance as well. This is going to be tough for the Philippines to hold on to. Right now, Mongolia in good position. Did you see the tear from the Astral Recall? Almost half HP from Ricatiano. Yeah. And also, you have the burst coming from Aizen even for Bebek. So they need to have a, cure, uh, a sure way of having a great oh. defense with that Sora. Already going to get in the back line. Pushing them back. The penalty zone in the back side. They find Rekka Juano. They're going to fall down. Lord already being worked on. Heart guard on Saison. Archangel has to flicker out. The turret's finally going to fall here. Still don't want to press the situation any further. But Saison, he doesn't want to deal with Aizen here. Aizen is stacked at this point on the Terizla. There's no deaths on this Terizla, on this Fredrin, even on this Novaria. The, the gap right now is just too hard to even suffice their damage, even to deflect it. Look at that Astral Recall. And also, cool. one of the ways to slow, probably Philippines is ironing out to slow them down, trying to divert members of Mongolia right away, because they have more ways of clearing this, okay? They have the Claude still being present, but they can't go out the base just yet. That's so tough. This is, uh, this is almost like a... In a way, it's like a mirror from what we saw in the previous game. In terms of like economy, lead, and everything else, now Mongolia, about 8,000 gold ahead. Just the 12-minute mark. Massive in the kill department. And there really is no answer right now for the Philippines. They're just playing to the beat of Mongolia here. Even if you look at the gold earned, right? Bebex is on top. You have Aizen there as well, alongside Forbid. Rakutiano just trying to farm up the most he can, but it's even a risk to be off, you know, to be off on your own farming up because you know you're going to get collapsed on or at least even spotted out, right? But still here in the mid lane, they're, they're not afraid to at least get this part of their jungle. They do have to be careful, though, because the tools are in favor for Mongolia. The space is in favor for them. There's lanes pushing in top, mid, and bottom. The Philippines needs to answer more of this. How will they go and penetrate Mavix back in their own defense? Because as, as we see, Sora, he has the taunt. Forbid has a way of slowing them down, getting so much vision for the team. You have Ethan having the cult altar present and just looking by the items here, more sustain. You have the dominance ice. You have the rated armor plus the guardian helmet. A lot of ways to sustain here. But we're seeing still hope for Philippines to fight back and getting the items. But for the damage side, we have three uh, physical penetrations uh, from Saison and as well as Ricatiano building those uh, damage in. So will the set be enough for Philippines to have against Mongolia or even target most of the one of the slowest way of like getting that turnaround? I feel like one of the biggest things here is just dealing with the cult altar, man. Like, they, like even even without that, uh, they were lacking damage for the longest time. So Philippines just kind of scrapping, right? They're they're really trying to stay in this game right now. Mongolia, though, in a prime position to possibly close this one out as they march down the mid lane. Lord still in the bottom. Cannon gonna jump in with the falling star moon, trying to buy a little bit more time here. The rest of the team has to regen up after taking a couple shots. They're quite low. Lord's still gonna be working on him. RWM is gonna come out, forcing him back a little bit. Mongolia jumps in. Eisen with a massive flicker penalty zone play. Colt Alter there too. Can they clear it out? The Philippines can't. We're going to a game three. Finally getting the first point out of the Philippines. Through their run, Mongolia bounces back. More prepared than ever, and just, they just let all the comfort mix out for the Philippines.